Probability from spinner. When the pointer is spun, what is the probability of following events? So first one is probability of stopping at 3. We also write this as P within brackets 3. The second one is probability of stopping at an even number. So you could write this as probability of even number. And third part is probability of stopping at a number less than 4. That means at least Okay, so let's figure out from this spinner what are these probabilities. Now in this spinner we have divided the wheel into eight equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So therefore total number of outcomes are eight. So we can write down number of outcomes equals to eight. Now that is always the denominator for us and let us see what are the favorable chances for each probabilities, right? So first one is probability of stopping at 3. How many 3's do we have here? So we have 1, 2 and 3. So there are 3 favorable chances out of 8 and therefore the probability of stopping at 3 is 3 over 8. You are right. So we get 3 over 8. 8 for part A, right? Now let's do the next one. Probability of stopping at an even number. How many even numbers do we have? So even numbers are 1, which is 2, 2, another even number, then 4 is an even number. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4 even numbers out of 8. So this probability is 4 out of 8, which you could simplify and write this as dividing both by 4 as half or 50 percent, right? The last one here is at least 3. At least 3 means probability of stopping at, you could stop at 1, 2 or 3. So there are 3 different combinations. So what are the numbers which qualify? Everything except 4. Do you see that? Everything except 4. This is at least 3, at least 3, at least 3, right? So all these are at least 3, 6 out of 8, right? So we get 6 out of 8 as at least 3, which you could simplify dividing both by 2. You get 3 over 4, right, or 75%. So you can always multiply these fractions by 100 and write probability in percent also. So I'll leave that for you to do. So write them as percent also, right? I hope you understand and appreciate the way we have solved this question. Thank you.